Go, Harbinger. I will be watching over you. General, give me two battalions and I shall capture the core for you. I do not doubt it. But those battalions would turn the battlefield into a graveyard. Intruder! I will protect you with my... Get out! Both of you! Now! That vision... There has to be a reason for what happened, Harbinger. You are the Harbinger, yes? Indrik. He may seem cruel, but there is always a reason behind his actions. That vision... That's the Temple of Yarborg, yes? There were engravings on the walls. Scriptures and patterns. I believe I can decipher them. Perhaps that will shed some light on this matter. General Dragon! The prison! Riots! Have the captain send a detachment to quell the riot. I have another matter I must attend to. Come, Harbinger. Let us investigate that vision of yours. My lady, you cannot disturb the Emperor. The ritual has already begun. Indrik is here. I suppose it makes sense. Step aside, soldier. Please! My lady! I never thought studying the ancient scriptures would serve a practical purpose. In Pagaria, it is not a feline's place to study such things. Or lead armies, for that matter. No amount of study and training would have led to acceptance, had it not come from Indrik. Ciphers. These creatures did not dare tread these sacred halls. Until now. are coming everyone ready harbinger time is of the essence i understand but i fear for those soldiers let's push together your guard up. That was not the last of them. Yes, General. The Harbinger is quite strong to withstand such a ship.
After we have finished investigating, we should have a word with His Highness. I want to hear his side of the story. Swordsmanship, Harbinger. Our Emperors are buried here, under Yarborg's benevolent watch. Our patron god has been gone for three centuries, but the faith in Pagaria still runs strong. Let us see if there is anything here that explains why Indrik would want to murder Vera. Ancient history is inscribed here. You know of Yarborg, yes? Of course you do. My apologies. I ask out of habit, considering what passes for history in Imperial schools. Yarborg fought an epic battle against Vodin. That's the Void Incarnate, if you believe such things. As the myth goes, 300 years ago, Yarborg, wielding his sword Cladden, defeated Vodin in battle. Here, Yarborg appoints the first godless priestess to watch over the world, Vera's spiritual ancestor. Then he withdraws from mortal affairs. Wait, this is new. This seems to claim the sword Cladden is real, and surprisingly specific on its location. This is strange. Apparently there is a ritual of ascension to become Yarborg's avatar. A firebird, the ritual requires an amber core. Once the transformation is complete, the avatar is then able to wield Yarborg's sword. This must be Indric's plan. 
There is an amber core in the temple, and the guards were talking about a ritual. This kind of power, however, it's not meant for mortals. Vera would have said as much. Vera must have tried to stop him. And the Emperor killed her. What a senseless tragedy. If this is true, Indric has betrayed the trust of Pegaria and its people. And he may be placing himself in danger as well. We must find Indric now. Come. My lady, I come with a message from His Highness. Where is he now? I do not know, my lady. When he heard you were here, he reacted strongly. He demanded to know why you were not in Rodentia, leading the army. He said, tell her to do her duty. Her judgment will come later. Then he departed. He just flew away. He must be after Cladden. And if these scriptures are correct, I know where he went. The scriptures mentioned a vault, here, in the city. That is where the sword Cladden is supposed to be. Can you imagine artifacts of the gods hidden in plain sight? finds Cladden and becomes this, this avatar. How will this change him? The power may prove too much. And where will his loss leave our armies? Or the people of Pegaria? This transformation into a firebird must be a literal one. This is the place. Look. The Imperial Seal has been breached. General Traeger! We are being overwhelmed! Attack everyone in sight, friend and foe alike. Friend? A man are speaking, sir. Ah, General. Permission to go treat these wounds. Granted. A seal, not ours. Rodentian, our way is barred. We cannot enter, nor could Indric. That leaves only one path. Sure. I would have thought Indrid to be in the other vault, but I trust your judgment. The Emperor! Your Highness! <sighs> Dead.
First the godless priestess, and now Indric. How could this happen? We wanted to stop the Emperor, yes, but who would kill him? This is why I sought to perform the Rite of Ascension, the Firebird Ritual, to protect us. This development is unexpected. It appears Radica has much to hide and much to answer for. Indric is no longer a concern. His ambitions are troubling, but if he did not kill Vera, perhaps he can serve as an ally and his strange death. The transformation into the Firebird grants great power. Who is powerful enough to slay him? How will you use your Omen Sight power, now that you know Ratika has killed the Godless Priestess? Give tribute to the tree, and it will teach you something. <laughs> 